The best way to understand how these new fuels and technologies work and the kinds of savings and benefits they offer is to actually hear from people and fleets that are already using them. So let's take a look at some clean cities, real world examples of how natural gas is making a difference in towns and communities across the country. DTE Energy celebrated the installation of their 13th compressed natural gas fueling station on June 21st at the Lewis Padnos Iron and Metal Company in Wyoming, Michigan. The project was a partnership between Clean Energy Coalition, who secured the grant funding for the project, UBCR, a private fleet and used beverage container recycling company, Freightliner, the manufacturer of the trucks, Ryder, who provided the leasing arrangements, and DTE Energy, who built and operates the fueling station. Last year, Clean Energy Coalition partnered with DT Energy and UPCR and provided a grant totaling nearly $1 million to help build the CNG fueling station you see here today, as well as one in Wixom, Michigan. Thanks to these efforts, UPCR will displace nearly 400,000 gallons of petroleum. Jerry Norcia, president of DTE Energy, expresses three reasons why DTE is excited about CNG. It's clean, cheap, and abundant. And Jeff Schramm, general manager of UBCR, whose 18 trucks will get to enjoy the new fueling station, gives their reasons for switching the fleet to CNG. And the reason we wanted to compress natural gas was it's so close to diesel and how it operates and how it performs, the engine for the trucks, so very similar. Um, so the transition we thought would be easy. Um, you know, 85% of the natural gas comes from the United States. So it reduces our need on the foreign oil. Uh, it's domestically sourced and it's cleaner burning. It's great for the environment. And as a recycling company, you know, we'd want to do everything we can to help the environment that we live in. Not only does CNG provide several environmental benefits over diesel, it can also have a positive economic impact on a company's bottom line. The cost of natural gas right now is on the diesel gallon equivalent is about a dollar fifteen cheaper than uh, the diesel is. So you know, simple math of saving a dollar a gallon on three hundred sixty thousand gallons is, is pretty significant um, to us. Um, so it's a it was a very quick uh, you know ROI on our investment um, to look at it that it, it made sense to us uh, both financially and environmentally. Fleets seem to have the biggest impact on uh, being able to achieve benefit with the lower price at this time. They put on more miles than the average consumer. The cost of building the infrastructure that you see here today is quite expensive. And the truck market allows us to be able to get more fuel sales right off the bat and justify the capital investment. And UBCR isn't the only fleet that benefits from this CNG fueling station. It's also available to other fleets in the area like AT&T and Valley Truck, as well as owners of CNG-powered passenger vehicles. This project, made possible by the Department of Energy's Clean Cities program, is one of several public-private partnerships occurring across the state which are providing residents with cleaner, cost-effective, and energy-independent transportation options for the future.